and I move amendment number one. Um, I would like to thank Deputy O'Leary and his colleagues for tabling this motion for debate. And I welcome the opportunity to speak to the House this evening on the important matter of the state examinations. I do understand the sentiments and concerns underlying the motion that has been put forward this evening. And I appreciate that examination year students have faced significant challenges in their learning as a result of the disruption caused by COVID-19. I also acknowledge that these students are eager to have certainty about the approach to be taken in respect of this year's state examinations. The Department of Education and I are currently involved in a process of engagement with education stakeholders regarding state examinations 2022. And it is important that this process be allowed to conclude to inform the decision that will be taken. Consequently, the government is putting forward a counter motion to allow this process to conclude. I welcome the opportunity to update deputies regarding the progress of those engagements to date. I also want to advise of measures that have to date been put in place by my department and by the State Examinations <coughs> Commission to help address the disruption to teaching and learning caused to leaving certificate students as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I am very keen to lean on the wisdom of all in the education sector in helping to provide certainty to our examination students as soon as possible and to allow them to focus on their preparations for Leaving Certificate 2022. It is important, I believe, to hear and understand all voices and perspectives in respect of the most appropriate approach for the 2022 state examinations. Most importantly, too, um, I realise is the need for clarity for students as regards State Examinations 2022. In this regard, I also welcome the opportunity this evening to hear the views of deputies on these important issues. My department and the State Examinations Commission have been progressing planning for the 2022 Junior Cycle and Leaving Certificate examinations. This has been done in close consultation with the advisory group on planning for the State Examinations and of course with Public Health. The advisory group includes representatives of students, parents, teachers and school leaders, as well as representatives of the State Examination Commission, the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, Higher Education and my own Department of Education. I want to acknowledge the significant contribution made by all members of the advisory group in the work on planning for the examinations. I also want to pay tribute to the extraordinary and unstinting efforts made by school communities up and down the country every day to support the continuity of learning for students during what has been a very challenging time. I'm very aware that the Leaving Certificate experience for the class of 2022 has been very disruptive. The SEC, working with the Department of Education, have sought through a range of measures to take account of the disruption to learning experienced by these students. Adjustments have been made to the assessment arrangements for the 2022 state examinations that were announced in August of 21. These adjustments were designed to take account both of the disruption to learning experienced by students in the early part of 21, as well as providing for some possible further disruption in the 21-22 school year. They are considered proportionate to the students' experience and loss of learning and are ed educationally appropriate. They also ensure that the overall structure of the examinations remains intact, but will allow for a greater choice for students. Just before Christmas, I also made an announcement regarding the arrangements for Leaving Certificate oral examinations in Irish and modern foreign languages and the practical performance tests in Leaving Certificate music. These examinations will take place outside of school time over the first week of the Easter holidays, with the examinations running in schools during the six-day period from Saturday the 9th of April to Thursday the 14th of April inclusive. Holding these examinations over Easter and outside of school time will minimise disruption for schools and students. Timeframes for certain assessment elements of the Leaving Certificate Applied examinations have also been pushed out. There has also been a reduction in the amount of preparatory time required for some practical exams in order to give more time for tuition. Schools have also been reminded of the flexibility available regarding the dates for the completion and authentication of Leaving Certificate coursework. I also announced that an alternative set of Leaving Certificate examinations will run in 2022, shortly after the conclusion of the main set of examinations. This will be for students who are unable to sit the main set of exams uh, for specific reasons. In addition to those measures um, focused on exam year students, I've also announced a series of broader measures to enhance teaching and learning in our schools. With a view to increasing the supply of substitute post-primary teachers to cover teachers who are absent from school for COVID-related or other reasons, I've introduced a range of emergency measures to provide increased numbers of substitute teachers also. These include the release of student teachers from their college programmes to enable them to support schools, the cancellation of all teacher uh, continuing professional development, 
that gives rise to substitution needs. The deployment of teachers currently serving with the school support services um, to work in schools, requests to retire teachers to return to teaching duties, ending the abatement of salary payments to retired teachers for substitution work for this school term, a relaxation of career break and job sharing restrictions for substitution purposes, and post-primary teachers permitted to work more than 22 hours per week, working extra hours to provide substitution cover up to a total of 35 hours. The capacity of the school system to provide for remote tuition has also improved significantly in recent times. While schools were closed as a result of COVID-19 from January 21, all students, including students who were due to sit the 2022 Leaving Certificate examinations, engaged in a programme of remote learning with their schools from the 11th of January 21 until their return to in-person tuition. Fifth-year students were also prioritised for a return to school following the return of sixth-year students in spring of 21. I have also introduced measures to address the greater impact on the education of some students and learning loss suffered by them. These include the opportunity provided to primary and post-primary schools to offer summer provision at a cost of up to 40 million, in addition to the 10 million allocated to a supplementary education program aimed at students with complex educational needs. In addition to this, provision of up to 52 million in extra teaching hours was made by the department for the COVID learning and support scheme, under which a block of additional teaching hours is provided to each recognized school, from which schools can provide additional teaching support for students who've experienced difficulties in settling back into school and engaging with learning. Information has also been provided on wellbeing supports for leaving certificate students. This includes a series of supports on managing well-being, coping with uncertainty and managing stress and anxiety, developed by the National Education and Psychological Service in the Department to support students. The Department worked with the Department of Health and the HSE to ensure the most appropriate services and resources are clearly signposted for students also. I am, as I have outlined previously, continuing to engage with all the partners in education on all matters relating to Leaving Certificate 2022 examinations. At the most recent meeting of the State Examinations Advisory Group, a number of updates were received from group members, including reports of emerging and final results from surveys of their members, which were conducted by some bodies. The meeting was positive and collaborative, with all parties committed to continued engagement in the short period ahead in order to provide clarity in relation to the State Examinations 2022. It was agreed that the members of the group would reflect on the contributions made at the meeting and that engagement would continue between myself and the various stakeholders on a bilateral and intensive basis. This bilateral engagement has been continuing since last week over the weekend and into this week with a view to reaching an appropriate solution which responds to the concerns and issues that have been raised by students and other stakeholders. A further meeting of the advisory group will be held and I am working towards a decision in relation to the state examinations 2022 being made as soon as reasonably practicable. I am also mindful, I should say, that under standing order number 59, I am only permitted to speak once upon this motion. Minister Madigan will close the debate on behalf of government. In closing, a Cahir Lake, I want to commend once again all those working in schools to support students. The work of those who support students, teachers, school leaders, SNAs, bus escorts, secretaries, caretakers, has never been more important, nor indeed more challenging. For those in examination years, they face added challenge beyond what is faced in normal years. My government colleagues and I appreciate the need to bring clarity to the position for these students as soon as possible so that they can focus on their preparations for the upcoming exams. I will continue to engage with stakeholders with the aim of reaching an appropriate solution as quickly as possible. I commend the government motion to the House.